What's up everybody? Bo is here and welcome to my workshop. <laughs> yeah, my workshop, right. So I had to wait until the sun goes out behind the building. Now I have this shade and space to work on because I'm building the frames. I'm still working on a, a piece by piece. It's um, putting up frames and I'm gonna show you in a minute where we add on the, on the van build. Um, so I'm I'm kind of all over the place right now. Uh, let's take let's take a look uh, where where we at. Okay, on this side, as you can see, I have the frame for the cabinet up right there, and then also the frame right here for the little storage in the front with the little cushion on the top, and that is uh, done for the framing part. Uh, I'm just waiting to uh, cut the sides, so. After all the framing, I'm going to spend one day measure and cut, measure and cut all the size uh, panels and then paint at the same time. It's kind of uh, that way I don't waste you know, the paint. I have to do the wash the paint and the brush again and again. So if I, I have everything cut, do it all at once, it'll be uh, uh, better. Uh, the shower, you can see the uh, frame is all up the walls all up uh, but it's not done yet not there the reason I'm going all over the place is because I want to make sure that things fit into places uh, before I make the fin final uh, side everything cut and, and screw everything down so that's why what well, that's what I'm doing let's take a look on on the back side yep the same thing over <laughs> here you can see the frame on this side is done, cabinets done, that is also done. Now over there I am assembling the frame for this side that, that goes over our um, a water tank right here. Then it's, um, yeah, it's gonna be the um, another frame on this side and then I should be done with the framing for now. Um, I have been yeah been busy I only had a little bit of time to work on uh, each day and also it's it's getting hot um, so we'll wait until it cools down a little bit I have more space to work otherwise I just work on little things inside here when this uh, sun's out but good news is the weekend is here I'm gonna have all weekend long to work on this so I am hoping to get a lot of things done because I need to get this van done I need to get this when on the road, you know the own. I'm sure the owner is anxious to uh, to take it to uh, camping before the summer is over, and not just that. I just want to get it done because we have another trip, big trip plan coming up soon. So, all right, stay tuned. Let's see what we can do this weekend. All right, we got a little problem here. Not a little problem, a problem. So I had to cut um, more of these to replace all of these uh, vertical ones right here because I wanted everything 18 inches uh, height uh, because of the water tank here is right at under 18. But I forgot to account for that the um, uh, gauge, the tank gauge. So that stands half an inch over, uh, taller than 18 and a half. Now I have to replace all of these vertical ones. Hopefully, I don't waste these because I, I am already short in aluminum. Hopefully I can use these uh, 16 inches for something else. But okay, we gotta do, we gotta do.
right, I got everything back in line. All right, looks good. All level. And this is all level. And clear from here. Okay, I am good. And it's getting late. I'll see you in the morning. Just want to show you real quick how bright this light bar is at night. So, say this is your campground right here. Alright, let's rotate it. Look at that. You got this whole area. Good morning. Back to work this morning. So, I start today with cutting this panel. This is on the, on the back side where the water heater, the uh, water inlet, tank gauge, and the quick connect goes after this, sand it out, and then cut other panels, and then we can do some painting today. So if I can get this done today, that would be uh, nice. So far, so good. Let's keep it going. mixer and uh, quick connect they don't come with free uh, drilled hole so it has to be custom drill hole like that that's where these gonna go see how nice it looks like that all right now we just uh, painted the the back here or all, all around it. the cut area a little bit and we're good to go on this Yes! Woohoo! One down! Okay, all the panels, the most of the panels are cut. This side, this side, on the top and the front, all cut. Now it's time to paint. It's gonna. Don't you guys see it looks great already okay so everything's most in place already uh, I ran out of the angle braces to uh, uh, mount from the inside and we also uh, ran out of the uh, plywood so Home Depot trip it is and uh, there's a few other things we have to pick up so um, it's good I like the way it, it uh, comes out right now yeah not complete yet so but it, you start to see it looks nice what's up you guys getting hungry while uh, working on the van 
today I see some good food so I gotta quit building the van let's focus on eating for now oh, oh look at this colorful uh, okay let me start with with this one this is spicy spicy uh, ground uh, beef with sweet basil um, with the uh, um, clams and this is very spicy we call it uh, Cambodian call it cha -ug. okay all right so that's a uh, like your ground chili uh, smash chili and everything in there uh, all the spices okay next uh, this one veggies here we can you can eat with any kind of veggies but uh, this is what we have for now this is um, zucchini and oyster sauce young zucchini and oyster sauce look at that oh man this it's like a saute okay it's still a little bit of crunchy zucchini so good and this is Chinese um, uh, watercress okay it's uh, and then with grind beef this is stir fried together the grind uh, grind beef and the watercress yeah this is also yummy yummy uh, and lastly we have deep fry whole fish okay crispy deep fried whole fish this this fish is very popular it's it's all um, um, it's marinated and it's deep fried and go together with my brown rice all right let's um I'm gonna wanna take because zucchini is my one of my favorite veggies I wanna take it Mm -hmm. Sweet, but it's young zucchini. Still crunchy. It's so good, dude. Cheers. Welcome to the next day. So, I'm working on this right now. The uh, our gal galley, but we ran out of aluminum. So, I'm gonna quit right here and work on something else. There's a lot, uh, plenty of other things to do, but let me show you what we did yesterday let's go to the back side yeah let's uh, check this out these uh, walls uh, the panels are done and this side uh, all installed but it's not connected completely yet uh, it's just there to make sure everything fits and we also did these under cabinets see they look really cool this side too have one light on each so that's what we did yesterday and since we ran out of aluminum today we're gonna finish up the uh, cabinet uh, and the sides and everything and there's a, on that side there's a couple other uh, panels that we need to paint and yeah we still have plenty of things to do all right this time the shower door the sliding shower door is gray color matching with our light gray um, cabinet and everything I don't remember installing the gray one before it's either white or or um, the gray color this actually looks really nice Check that out. Novelist shower door. Wow, it really matches the wall. This time I ordered 68 inches, which is almost all the way to the top. Very cool. To install this, it's pretty easy. Let's make sure you align and then kind of slide out a little bit to see to make sure that inside here where the water is going to drip inside your shower pan. That's it, and then just mark it, and then peel off the tape. Tape it. 
to the wall. Now I'm gonna get the clamp and just clamp it a little bit to make sure the wall doesn't curve and then it pops up from the tape. Right, on this side I have it already uh, taped. On the opposite side I have this I don't know what they call this. It's just the opposite side where the the door comes and then lock into it. So let's just call it the uh, opposite in enclosure. I don't know. Okay. Anyways, uh, this is how it goes. Uh, the way you can tell how it's gonna go because if you look at this is the there's a, a runner. Uh, on one on top one on the bottom this is where it's gonna go I'll show you in a minute and then the, this is screw hole right here so that screw hole is supposed to be on the inside that's how you can tell and then like this and just kind of slide this over and then connect to to it to see to make sure uh, you know, it, it's a uh, it's straight. It's not uh, wrinkle. And then kind of mark your your line where it's gonna go. Okay, so it should be uh, straight across from here. If this side is sitting a little bit inside uh, the shower pan. When it comes over here, it should be exactly that's about the same depth. Okay. So now I'm gonna mark a little, little bit this side and I'm gonna peel off the tape. Well, right there now, I can see it straight. Now press. There you go. So next is my runners. So uh, this is the runner. You can see that channel right here. It's a guide. It's one for on the top and one on the bottom. Here's the bottom one. This is where you insert into here. And then when you open or slide, op open and close the door, this thing guides the door across. That's what it's for and this is going in here. So now to make this fit, I have to cut it. Okay, I measure from here and to the other side, whatever that measurement is, I minus a quarter inch and then cut it. It's fixed. The other side here, you can just pop it out like this and then when you put this in and then you just snap it back in this is how it looks and Ace is, Ace is talking because he's hungry All right so insert it in here push and then look at this side All right. Take a look at this side right here. There. Gonna snap into there. There. Like that. All right. All snap in. We got the top and the bottom. Now. Close and then clock lock. Look at that. We got our shower door, guys. Very good. Open, close, close. Oh, 
Okay, now since our shower door is done, time to finish up. I'm going to install the shower head and then we should be done with the shower. First, oh yeah, it's gonna be the base. Uh, shower head I'm gonna use is this high chrome look at that beautiful shower head this is a uh, thing for different settings and different this one and it has an on off switch right here already and also that just a, a addition to our look at that high chrome uh, shower mixer this one set the temperature to the way you want it and then uh, the water uh, pressure high and low and you're set to go This is hand tight only. This is a little bit too long. This is, uh, I think, 79 inches. Well, the good thing is you can, if you wanna, like, take it over there and spray it over there, it's fine. But it's a little bit too long. I bought two of them because one is for the the back and one is for here. But anyway, it's good to have a little bit long like this. All right, shower is ready. Look at that. How about I just go like that. Okay, I guess this is it for this video, you guys. I hope this video was fun to watch and the things to learn from it. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for following this build. We are getting there. We are getting there. Give me a couple more weeks and this van will be camping ready. Alright, I will see you next video again. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.